Hope is not an emotion. Hope is a learned behavior. It's a way of thinking. It's a result of a cognitive process. Hope is not airy fairy, pretty flowers and sunsets. No, hope is the most powerful driver of human achievement. Hope is active, not passive. It's strong, not feeble. It's courage, not fear. It's ongoing, never an end point. Hope is power. Not power in terms of dominance, that's corruption. No, power in terms of competence. Power in terms of the ability to affect positive change. If you want to know how to have more power in your present, then just have more hope in your future. Hope theory, developed by Professor Rick Snyder, is best explained as a formula. Goals plus pathways plus agency equals hope. Goals, let's just double click on that for a minute. Goals are made up of our ability to execute some executive functions, such as the ability to organize and plan and make decisions. There's a lot more going on around goal design than just simply having an aim. Pathways. First we need to understand there's more than one pathway to get us to where we need to go. Then we need to always be aware that life on a graph never ever really goes from here to here. Life is full of ebbs and flows, peaks and valleys, highs and lows. Some people think the pathway to success is just like a straight line. No, it goes a little bit like this. It, there's lots of twists, there's lots of turns, and you've got to hold on because it's a roller coaster ride. But you will get to where you want to go if you maintain composure and if you maintain hope. I've heard people say that, well, hope isn't a strategy. And that would be right. Hope is not a strategy. Hope is a leadership approach. Hope is a result of changing a culture through a leader who has optimism, positivity, and faith. Strategy is executed by people, and if we never allow our people to become hopeful, they'll never be able to execute on a strategy. Nelson Mandela is probably one of the most incredible people on this planet. He literally embodied hope. 27 years he held on to a dream of helping liberate his country from apartheid. 27 years. Not seconds, not minutes, not days, but years. Do you know what that looks like on a calendar? It looks something like this, right? On a war calendar, it will look like this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 1963. 1964, 1965. In a prison cell, there was two meters by two meters squared, holding on to a dream. 1966, 1968, 1970. 1973, they said to a Mandela, we'll let you out. All you have to do is say the blacks and whites should not be treated equal. He said, how can I go back on my convictions? They said, fine, die in there. 1974, 1978, still holding on to hope. 1980, 1983, you know what happens in 83? His daughter for the very first time is allowed to come and visit him. He hasn't seen his daughter for 20 years. The last time he saw her, he was being beaten outside the front of his house by the police while she stood stood at the front door with a rag doll with tears streaming down her face. That's the last image he has of his, of his little girl. She comes to prison. She's all grown up. She's married. They, they have a baby. They place the baby, Nelson Mandela's grandchild, in his arms. And you can read about this in his book, Long Walk to Freedom. He said these hands that for 20 years had only ever touched a pick or a shovel now felt the soft, smooth skin of my granddaughter. He said it was such an incredible moment. But the reason why they brought the child to prison was because in their culture, the grandfather got to name the child. So the daughter interrupts and says, Daddy, Daddy, 
what should we name her? Now expect him to be a little bit bitter, right, and angry at the what he'd been in prison for 20 years. You know his son died when he was in prison and he wasn't allowed to go and bury his son. So he looked at the child and he said to her, he said, name her Zazale, which means hope. I may not get out of here alive, but I pray the hope gets passed to another generation. 1984, 1986, 1989, 1990. Then he goes from prison to president, holding on to hope. And the third part of this formula, agency. The ability to actually believe in yourself. Now listen, there is a question that I get asked from students quite a lot. And the question goes something like this. Dear Glenn, I want to be an actor <laughs> But my dad, he wants me to do law. Glenn, I want to be a muso. But my mum, she wants me to do medicine. Glenn, I, I want to be a fashion blogger. But my dad, he doesn't even know what that is. He wants me to be an architect. Let me give you the answer to that question. And I'm speaking on behalf of parents worldwide, right? Here's the answer to the question. The answer is this. If you actually really, really believed that you could actually be an actor, then your parents will probably start to believe in it as well. Because you don't really believe in it, please don't expect them to. How do you prove to your parents you actually believe in your dream? Here's what you do, ready? You practice, you train, you study, you rehearse. You enroll in drama school. You when they say they're not gonna pay for it, you get a part-time job so you can pay for it. You go and audition, after audition, after audition. After a while, they'll start to notice. H have you seen her? She's been getting up at 5 a.m every single morning going over that monologue. You and we said to her we were gonna drop her off at that audition. She caught two bus on a train to get out there. The other day, I went into her room. She was on that guitar for like three hours. Her fingers are almost bleeding. Have you seen her songbooks? Got books piled this high, lyric ideas. She thinks she's actually gonna do it. You know, the day, I didn't know how he did it. He must have got the keys from the groundsman. It was 10 o'clock at night, it was freezing cold and it was raining. Everybody else had left the oval, but he was down there by himself in the rain running drills. You know what? I think she's starting to believe. I think he's starting to believe. Hey, since they're starting to believe, we won't get behind them and help them. But honestly, if you don't believe in your dream, please don't expect anybody else to. You have to believe in it. Goals plus pathways plus agency equals hope.